Hey everyone, this is Darius from The Shot Caller, and I'm sitting here with Naruto Deda. Uh, Nar Naruto is better. Just, Na just, just say Naruto. Just say Naruto. Okay. Everyone, everyone is trying to say Naruto Rador, but I mean, for me, everyone, nobody, even, even my friends, or nobody calls me my full name, so Naruto is just better. Okay, Naruto. Now I have to ask this. Yeah. We're, we're going to dive into the amazing series against you two and everything mm -hmm. in a second, but is your name based on Naruto, the anime character? I mean, yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, my name, I have been carrying uh, my name or my nickname from uh, when I was 12 years old, basically. Oh, I wanna, okay. You know, I, I used to play uh, RPG, like um, maybe World of Warcraft or all these kind of related games. And then uh, I used to carry that name, so I just carried it all the way until uh, right now. And not right now I'm 24 years old, so it has been like basically almost 12 years with this name. So yeah. You got to stick with it at one point, hey? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so now that we have this <laughs> part covered, let's talk about the amazing series uh, against G2 and the overall signing. You are 2-1 and one now. Mm -hmm. uh, you've, you've excelled expectations to an extent already. I mean, uh, how did you manage to so decisively beat G2? Because for a very long time, G2, uh, Giants, even inside the game, looked like the better team. You had the better team fights. You consistently performed, got the Baron, etc., etc. You just stomped them. How? I mean, it was a really even game, like back, completely back and forth. Like, I didn't know how, how it was going to end. Like, obviously, I had the, the whole put from my team. Uh, basically, we have been working, like, uh, insanely hard from the very first day that we came to Berlin. Uh, we, we came to a strategy, we discussed, like, okay, this is what the, we should practice. This is what is going to be, like, the meta on LCS, because everything was, like, kind of up, up in the air. Like, uh, every team is playing, like, his own thing still, and nobody knows what should be the best thing. But uh, we just, like, stick to one thing, which should be the, the optimal thing to do. Practice over and over the same thing, uh, or the same, like, let's say, one, two things. Uh, make everyone comf uh, comfortable going into this kind of thing. And... And just prove it like the my players are good. I mean, obviously, uh, I don't know why people have been saying that the or rust is gonna be last of the split or my, my players cannot perform on the stage for whatever reason. I got my roster, you know, I got the people that I wanted. Uh, I discussed with them what is the best thing once again, and we have been working and the, at this showing that we can we can perform, you know. Now, one of the players that really stood out. Mm -hmm. I mean, the entire team played well, but one player really stood out, and that is Ruin, the Korean top liner. Now. Nobody really knew who Ruin was mm -hmm. until now, and now he's been just ruffled something the ULCS. Yeah. Uh, did you know how insanely good he can be? You know, uh, before before this roster, there was the old Giants roster, which was the, the new Vita Vitality mm -hmm. roster, and basically uh, Giants is Vitality with the old Giants is Vitality without Ruin. And so I got to know, I know all the players, or I knew all the players when I was the, with the, with them. And uh, I'm really happy that I got to stick with Ruin. Like, Ruin is basically the only, the only player who stayed in, in Giants, and I couldn't be more happy that I, I didn't have to look for another top player because I knew if I can keep this player on my team, I, I wouldn't have any problems. And this guy, I mean, he, he's uh, trehardening for his life, and uh, he's going to prove that he's one of the best. I told him, coming into this play, you're going to be one of the best. And he keep, he, he keep playing, he keep, kept on giving him his best for, for the very first day. And then... I mean, he's a beast. But there is nothing I, ha I can have to say about this guy. He's a beast. Absolutely. I mean, some of the the gnar olds are just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Absolutely ridiculous. Something you would expect someone like Vizichachi or Oduwamna, the, the greats of the ULCS top lane, to pull off. Mm -hmm. uh, so now, to be fair though, you've picked up three players were, which were dropped from their respective teams: mm -hmm. Steelback, Joko, and Betsy, of course. Uh, now, all of them performed really well so far, but. Uh, why did you go with these players specifically instead of you know trying to go with someone from from Challenger? You know why go with Bexy, uh, Betsy instead of, for example, I don't know Maggie Felix or other mid laners that have been hyped but haven't been able to show on LCS yet? You know I'm the kind of uh, coach that uh, prefers to go with a base, let's say. Mm -hmm. So basically, my idea making the team or creating the roster was I want people that uh, not only uh, has talent like my players, but they they know each other but because they have been in uh, other teams before and they know they can, wor they can work well together and also they are hungry to prove that they can be, they are, st they are still good players. So I took advantage of, of that. I um, did, let's say, individual interviews with them and then we started tryouts, let's say, on December and uh, I knew, I saw them playing on the screens and I, I knew 
they, the roster could perform like really, really well over other players. Let's say if I get, uh, let's say, young talent or people that, let's say, let's say, 17 years old, people that is like maybe famous on my country, like uh, from other teams, mm -hmm. I don't think like they, for example, being young can be like really, really devastating if you go into the stage. You cannot handle the pressure or you cannot like function when well with, with other people that uh, is new to the LCS, like it's new full full five man roster. So I want to go full with a base once again that I can work with. If they, I get I get like a three man base, let's say Joko, Betsy, Steelback, and I put like two rookies on the team, mm -hmm. the mix can, can be like really good. They can fit together the base and then we, I, can go, I can work with the whole thing, develop something good for let's say macro, uh, pool champion game style, and then that can go, that can grow, grow surely, but uh, slowly in our favor over, uh, over the split. And so that's what I'm idea. And right now I think it's working. So I'm happy about that. It definitely is working. No doubt about that for sure. Now, uh, you do have one rookie and that is uh, like besides Ruin first uh, LCS proper stage as well, but um, a Chargamas. Mm -hmm. uh, are you satisfied with his play so far? Because he's only 17, you know, he's relatively inexperienced compared to other players. Have you noticed that your way of thinking, you know, having the space of veterans um, being a help for such a young player coming into LCS, especially when he's playing support? So, I mean, I'm really happy of having Chargamas for multiple reasons. One, because I think he's probably the best support that can work with the steel back. He's a young guy that uh, they will both, uh, still, uh, Targamas is really aggressive and the steel back as well, so I think they can fit, fit together pretty well in the lane. And at the same time, they both speak French. So they can play duo queue every day. They can get to understand each other way faster than other ballings because of the language. And then they, they like each other. They are getting along. They, they, they are having fun every day in the gaming house, uh, every day. And that's really a, a, a really important thing. More than you speaking like the two superstars in the ball line, like the guys have to get along. If they get along, they will improve faster. They will get like, they will they develop good uh, synergy, good game style. And that, that's basically what's happening. Um, I mean, I think Targamas is also a beast by itself and he will grow even more by working with, by the fact that he's working with a, with experienced players such as Lilback. And so it is gonna, I think it's gonna be, it, 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 it has to be the best ball that they will get from my team. And I'm really happy to have them in, in my team right now. And w we've seen this multiple times, you know, Sven and Mithy being the big example, mm -hmm. Reckless and Yellow Star. It's usually bot lanes really excel when the two players excel personally. You know, I have a very uh, definitive bond. But were you worried when Vitality picked up four of your players? Mm -hmm. And you were, it was pretty much the end of the off season in a way. Um, or it was relatively late compared to, you know, other teams that already set their rosters and everything. Were you worried that you might not be able to find, you know, um, the, the team that you wanted, the players that you wanted? I mean, obviously when, the, when you are like, let's say end of November or beginning of December and you know that uh, everything is falling apart, I mean, you are worried. Uh, there is no, no denying that, but at the same time, all you all like what you do is you sit down with the people that is taking care of LCS and you start to talk. Okay, even though we may, might not come with these people, uh, this is the best thing that we can do. Let's let's work. What is what is like, and not not um, like. Let's say no, not all the players that, that are like uh, looking for team or you. But what is the best material to create a solid a solid roster that can can grow and can create like synergy, what good worker embar environment, and can uh, grow over the over the over the split? And then I saw all these people that um, they they got dropped for the previous teams and they can work really well really well together. And then I was like, this is, I I want this to be my team, and I'm pretty sure that if I get this roster, I will be able to perform on the on the, on the LCS. And then. Uh, I think right so far uh, everything is, is going in your favor, so th there is not nothing that uh, but uh, happiness on my side, you know. Is playoffs a realistic goal now? I mean, uh, I'm not gonna say that uh, playoffs is not something that I want to achieve, but uh, I want my players as soon as my players give their best over the split, and they they get to give everything that they have over the split. I'm gonna be really happy about that. That's, that, that's basically the only thing that uh, I'm asking for them to just uh, work as hard as they can, build synergy, build ga uh, game style, macro, show that they are a good team, and to give everything that they have. If they they they, they give it, then 
I'm not going to ask for anything else, but obviously if we can get something such, such playoffs, it's going to be the optimal thing, no? Fair enough. Very uh, <laughs> uh, good, good answer. Yeah. <laughs> um, one, like, one last question. Do I have to worry that I'm going to see a Vagar in all of my solo queue games now because he's just that good? Or can I be... No, I don't need to worry about him. Is he just so strong? I mean, Vagar is more... It's more a pocket pick, you know? It's something that uh, you are willing to play in certain matchups and uh, you feel that uh, you are going to get the time to scale, to get to your spikes, to build that your, the build that is going to give you an advantage in the game and then you can go on. I think you just play Vegar because of uh, it is a wood pick. I think it's not going to give what you want. But um, if you know how the champion works and what the champion needs, then definitely it can, it can surprise people, it can kill people, it can be the champion that uh, we, we show today, and then you, you, you will enjoy it in solo queue, I guess. Unlimited Vega build, uh, theoretically endless AP. Yeah. AP. Uh, anything you would like to say to the Giants fans? Because there are plenty. Mm. I mean, uh, thank you very much, guys, to everyone that is cheering for our team, everyone that had hopes from the very beginning that we will do good. I really appreciate that you support from the very first day. Also, the people that... that uh, like like our team now and is joining us as well i really thank you guys for supporting our team and uh, we are going to try and uh, we are going to give our best through all the split i can guarantee you that we are working giving our best every week and i i really have high expectations on my team and we are going to try to make everyone proud so thank you very much you heard it from the giants coach himself thank you very much for your time this was Darius from the shot color see you then